I think if 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 the Hizmet movement were more widely based, we wouldn't have the problems that we have uh, in the world today. My name is Richard Saxer, I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. I am a recently retired uh, public school teacher, elementary school, uh, special education. I have a master's degree in special education and um, the early part of my working life I was in the ordained ministry of the Episcopal Church. I received a master's of education. Uh, I left the ministry so I could do other things, uh, including teaching. I learned about the Hizmet movement through working with our church. I'm in the active lay ministry of the Episcopal Church, and our congregation here is part of an interfaith dialogue or conversation group with the Atlas Foundation of Louisiana. And I kept hearing the word Hizmet used during our conversations, and I didn't know what it was at first. and I. Uh, kept asking, well, what's the hizmet? What's the hizmet? What's the hizmet? And I came to learn that the hizmet movement is a, a, a movement of service and brotherly love, sisterly love, service to others in need. Um, I, I had to ask questions to find out about the hizmet movement. It, it, it seemed like... Um, people would rather serve than, than talk about it. And um, came to learn that the Hizmet movement uh, is oriented to serving anybody in need. When there's a hurricane, when there's a tornado, people will, will reach out to other people in, um, in service. We, we had a, a, hur a, a hurricane in, in, in New Orleans several years ago, and Members of the Atlas Foundation went to the house of, of some of our friends and helped clean up their house. Uh, people in the Hizmet movement work in education, uh, science, industry, everything uh, in terms of, of looking to serve other people. Over the years of contact that I've had with, with the Atlas Foundation and uh, Muslims and, and, and and Turkish people, I've learned more and more about the Hizmet movement. And I've come from not understanding or, or knowing about what the Hizmet movement is about to, to come to understand that, uh, we, that that's how we need to model our lives, in my opinion, is in the service and in the model of service that the Hizmet movement represents. Uh, we all are part of the Abrahamic traditions, the Christians, the Muslims, the Jews, and all of our faiths teach us to be of service, love our neighbors as ourselves. Uh, Jesus said, love our, our neighbors, love each other as God loves us first. That's, that's the basis of it. God loves us, and we are to give that love to others in service. Uh, I think if, if, if the Hizmet movement were more widely based, we wouldn't have the problems that we have uh, in the world today. I've heard so much about Mr. Fatullah Gulen uh, and read some of the work about him and by him uh, and seen interviews and videos by him and about him and am so amazed and impressed with his model of service, his model of love, his model of reaching out for, for the best for all. He's, he's, 
he wants to integrate knowledge and wisdom and education and 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 religion and 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 have people talk with each other rather than turn their backs to each other and fight each other. Um, Mr. Gulan, uh, in, in, in my views, is a, is a very saintly person uh, and is revered and honored by, by many people of all faiths. The contributions of, of his met to the common good include, I, I think, the most benefit is, is, is the overall ideal and model that it represents, the inspiration to serve others. Uh, beyond that, there are very immediate goods that, that the Hizmet Movement does in, uh, in providing education, uh, schools for, for people who have not had the opportunity to go to school or to go to as good schools as they have had the opportunity with, with Hizmet. Schools in, in countries all over the world, not just in Turkey. Not only schools, but hospitals, newspapers, television, uh, the media. Uh, his met sponsors openness of communication and freedom of expression and telling the truth about what's going on. I think all of those are contributions of the His met movement. I'm not formally trained in Islam, so I'm not sure exactly how the Hizmet movement represents the tenets of Islam, but my understanding is that uh, the tenets of Islam require that people provide service and uh, contribute to the welfare and the being, uh, the well-being of, of, of others. Uh, and uh, th that Islam requires it even more stringently than than, than Christianity requires it. Christianity asks people to provide alms and service to each other. But it doesn't seem like there's as strong an urgency uh, as, as there is in Islam. I think the interfaith programs and activities of the Hizmet movement are, are so important and so central to the work of the Hizmet movement and to the work of bringing understanding amongst people of uh, all, all faiths and people of faith and people without any faith because it gives people an opportunity who don't understand each other or know each other to come together and, and talk. In our church, uh, people from our congregation have come to know Turkish people and Muslim people and they had no idea uh, what, what Islam was about. And uh, I've been able to change the attitudes of uh, some of my, my friends and fellow parishioners by bringing them to our interfaith dialogue group and come meet people of the Muslim faith and, and, and let's dialogue. They've, they've come to understand and know what Muslim people stand for and good work is being done. I love the, uh, the Hizmet approach to education, visited several Hizmet schools when we were in Turkey. And I was very impressed with uh, both the universities and the, uh, the lower schools that, that we saw, the, the quality of materials that were there, uh, the quality of education that was being presented I, th I think education is the key to, to turning people's lives around. Uh, we, we stayed at a school that was hosting girls from Africa. And uh, it was a delight to, to be with the girls and to see how they, through the Hizmet sponsored school, were getting a stronger education and meeting people from around the world and, and were being able to uh, be stronger people themselves. I think we should all model our charitable activities on the, the, the philosophy of Hizmet. People oriented to, to Hizmet movement uh, will we'll have uh, rummage sales, uh, 
street sales. They will make collections from amongst their friends to, to, to gather uh, money to help people that they've never met, to provide blankets for people who are in storm areas. Um, I think it's a, a model that we all can well model and, and follow. We went to Turkey three years ago, and one of my overall impressions was uh, the, the friendliness of the people, the, the way people interacted with us and responded to us, welcomed us, strangers who had no idea who we were or where we were from or what we were doing. Uh, people on the street all welcomed us with open arms. Uh, one of the things that especially struck me frequently was how, how clean the streets were, how, how well ordered uh, everything was. Uh, I remember talking to uh, our guide and, and saying, well, in New Orleans, almost every street corner in downtown that we go down, there are, there are people begging, begging for food, begging for money, people who are homeless. I don't see that in Turkey. And I came to understand that, that Turkish people take care of Turkish people and that uh, there's very little homelessness and very little need for people to beg because they are taken care of. We visited hospitals, uh, one of the first uh, mental hospitals of, of modernity was, was there. And it was very touching to be able to walk through it and see the way that the people who were confused and hurt were being uh, cared for so early on. Uh, we, we went to universities and schools and the newspapers and, and the television station and, and saw how the, um, the people there were working together and respecting each other. If Islam and Mr. Gulen and his met can inspire men and women to do what they do for love in this crazy modern world for love, then truly there is hope for all of us. Mr. Gulen states that education is a solution for poverty, ignorance, and internal conflict. He also states that through education and a personal development, we can build better societies.